Ryan with Ryan Explores the West. Another video about the bumper. Um, the problem with the bumper, it's messy. Um, so in the last video I showed you about the bumper, I showed you how I was trying to use um, this. Got stuff everywhere. <laughs> um, not highly organized yet. Working on it. Um, I was going to use that to just clean up the surface and get all the old paint off of it, get the rust out of it. And that worked, but it was really messy. So I posted on a group of people who use, or it's a Harbor Freight um, hacker group, people who uh, basically just buy stuff from Harbor Freight and use it however they want. And I said, you know, hey, I've got this little compressor here little three horsepower, one and a half gallon or whatever compressor. Can I, what would I need to sandblast with that? And everybody laughed. I've never sandblasted before in my life. So um, the consensus was get it professionally sandblasted, which would probably cost me as much as the bumper did. Um, I'm just guessing it'd probably take a couple hours and I think they charge like 125 an hour. So that's, that's some money. Um, and the thing is, I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm just looking for better than, well, better than this, you know, um, just looking for, to get this stuff off of there and, you know, get through all these layers of paint and clean it up. Uh, maybe add a couple of tow hooks to it. Um, I think I'm almost positive. That's what I'm going to end up doing. Um, I was visiting Harbor Freight yesterday and I had an idea, but, um, yeah, the idea here is to just get it cleaned up, fix what needs fixing on it, and then uh, paint it. And probably just spray paint. I would love to do Rhino liner or some sort of bed liner. Um, a friend of mine has done a spray on bed liner on his whole truck, and it looks pretty good. I think it'd be good for the bumper. But right now, I've just got to get it cleaned up. The problem is it was just so messy. There was stuff everywhere. So today, I grabbed the little mini shop vac that I have, and... Uh, my, my, uh, um, broom and I broomed and shop vac and got it pretty well cleaned up. I'm thinking I'm going to be finding flex of paint in my tools for about the next 10 years. Anyway, um, so what I did is this, there we go. So what I've done is I put up some, uh, plastic sheeting that I cut way too short. I thought I would need more less than I did, but, um, I've also got a tarp over this that should protect that stuff pretty well. Um, I might even put a tarp over that when I go, but I'm going to go ahead and just hit this with the wire wheel brush and then with, um, some flap discs. And I think that's going to be good enough. Now, what I'm thinking about doing for hooks, I, I was really going to do some, um, maybe because this, these are, this is quarter inch right here. So it's about welding some shackle mounts to this quarter inch. But for 10 bucks at Harbor Freight, they've got the um, hooks that just drill in. In fact, they might even fit here. Oh, that's the winch mount. But that'd be okay. Um, anyway, they've got the hooks that just mount directly to the, to the bumper uh, with a couple of, uh, I think they're half inch holes. And they're 10 bucks a piece and they're bolt on. I wouldn't have to worry about welding. Um, I do have my welder. It will do quarter inch, but I don't know if I'll, I can do quarter inch properly yet. I'm, I've never MIGged before. That's going to be another project. Um, yeah. So that's where I'm at with this. And I think it's a good place to be, honestly. Um, so I'm, I'm going to work on that some this week. Uh, I've got some spare time this week. And I'm just going to get this all cleaned up and then get out the me get out the measuring stuff and start measuring to find out how bad that is and what needs to be done um, to get it back into place. And then, uh, um, yeah, get it back into the right, right shape and then repair it. Uh, I might end up cutting out some metal and then re-welding new metal in. I'm not, again... It just depends on how bad it is. If it's not real bad, I might just leave it. If it's not visible to the naked eye, um, I might just leave it. So 
Um, I'm not worried about it. It's not structural. Uh, you can see the, the one eighth inch is what's crump crumpled, not the quarter inch. So yeah, anyway, that's where, that's where the project's at. If you have any thoughts, any advice, I could sure use it. Uh, this is a, I am a beginner. This is my first big project with big metal on. Uh, it's going to possibly pull me out of a ditch or <laughs> pull somebody else out of a ditch or, you know, possibly, uh, you know, save me during a recovery. So uh, I'm all yours. Thanks a lot. And uh, thanks for watching. And if you want to continue to see this stuff and see me screw things up and make bad decisions, click subscribe and hit like. I'm going to try, try to do a video a week, even if it's just a quick update. Take care.